This is every type of differential equation. Whether you're new to differential equations or just want to review, this is the guide for you. So first, we have the separable ODE, arguably the easiest and most basic. So let's say we have a differential equation dy dx equals xy. The goal with a separable is to separate the variables dx and dy and the terms into one side x and one side y. So in this case, as you can see, we have the dx and the x on one side and the dy and the y on the other side. And then all we need to do is integrate both sides. And now that means that we have a function of y equal to a function of x. So all we need to do is just raise both sides to the e, and we get that the solution is a function y equals e to the x squared over 2 plus c. Next is the linear ODE. This one is a little bit more recognizable because uh, it comes in a specific form. So we have this differential equation here, and it comes in the form dy dx plus a function of x, y is equal to a function of x. And we call these p and q. And what we need to do is we need to actually multiply by an integrating factor mu of x, which is equal to e to the integral of p of x dx to actually make this differential equation solvable. So if we have e raised to the integral, our p of x was 1. So we have e to the x that we're going to be multiplying into the entire thing. Now, if you look at this differential equation, you can see that we have a sort of product rule situation going on on the left side, where we have the derivative of y and just y. We have e to the x, and then we have the derivative of e to the x being multiplied in. So that would be the derivative of y e to the x, and then the right-hand side is obviously e to the 2x. And then all you need to do is take the integral on both sides, and then you're going to get y e to the x equals 1 half e to the 2x plus c. And then all you need to do is simply just divide out that e to the x. So now we have the exact ODE. So the exact ODE comes in this form where we have a function of x and y dx plus a function of x and y dy is equal to zero. And we call these m and n. And for it to be exact, we need these partial derivatives to be the same. So standard routine is to simply just check if they are going to be the same. So we're going to take the derivative with respect to y of m and with respect to x of n. So the derivative of m with respect to y is 2x plus 2y, and the same thing for n with respect to x. So that's how we know we have an exact situation on our hands. So for this process, we're going to integrate m first, and we're going to get x squared y plus xy squared plus h of y. And remember, h of y, because we're integrating with respect to x, y is going to be constant. Next, we have the derivative. We're going to take the derivative with respect to y of our result. So we're going to have x squared plus 2xy plus h prime of y. And remember, h prime of y is simply the constant, and we're taking the derivative of a constant. So that's why that equals 0 in this instance, because the derivative of every constant is equal to 0. So we have x squared plus 2xy. So we know that h of y equals c. So now we can conclude that x squared y plus xy squared is equal to c is the solution. Next, this is the next step towards solving all differential equations is homogeneous. So we have a homogeneous functions on top of each other of the same degree. So in this case, we have a first degree function over a, sec a first degree function. So that's how we know we have a homogeneous situation. You're going to want to use the substitution y equals vx and then differentiate both sides and you give v plus x dv dx. And here, all you need to do in this case is simply convert dv dx into just as x and v. So we have, we factor out the x and we get one plus v over one minus v. So in this instance, we are just simply going to combine 
the fractions. We're going to combine the fractions together, and then we get 1 plus v squared over 1 minus v. So this simplification here is going to make it much easier for us to solve this integral because before we couldn't really do anything with our actual with our results. So all we needed to do was simplify and find dv dx. So now what we're all we need to do is simply take the integral of both sides. The integral of 1 over x is just ln x and the integral of 1 over 1 plus v squared dv minus the integral of v over 1 plus v squared dv is equal to ln x plus c in total. And you'll see as the final result, are, you have to remember one of the special integrals. So the 1 over 1 minus v squared, that is arctan minus 1 half ln of in this case, x squared plus y squared, which we just subbed in, and we have that's equal to ln x plus c. Obviously, you could solve this explicitly, but I, it's not very necessary. Next is the Bernoulli ODE. So this is where we have, uh, we have a similar form to linear, but we have times y to some power on the right hand side. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to sub in y to the one minus whatever power is there. So in this case, one minus two is negative one. So that's the substitution we made. Differentiate both sides of the substitution and we get dy dx is equal to negative y squared dz dx. We simply replaced everything with z and now we have a differential equation with respect to x and z. And this is going to work out way nicer. Let's just multiply everything by negative, And now we keep the linear form that we are used to with our p of x and q of x sort of situation. So the next step here is to is to try to find the integrating factor, which is e to the integral of negative 2 over x, which is equal to x to the negative second. x to the negative second, we're going to multiply that into the entire differential equation, and we're going to sim simplify everything down to z equals negative x cubed minus c e to the x. So that is going to be the answer to this problem. Next is the non-exact ODE. So we have y plus x dx plus y minus x dx equals zero. This one I would say is the most complicated version of the ODE that you probably wouldn't see very often. So if we look at our functions m and n, we take our partial derivatives just like we did with the exact ODE. We see that they are different. Now, the way to the way to find them out is we need to actually transform m and n as functions themselves. So let's say we have an exact ODE with m tilde and n tilde, and we're going to say that these partial derivatives are equal to each other. So let's just try out a random integration factor of 1 over x squared. The reason why this is so difficult to figure out is because you can't do it elementary, um, but usually they'll provide you an integrating factor for the, these types of situations. So now if you do this integral here, you'll get that you'll get that the partial of m and the partial of n uh, tilde are actually the same. So in this case, we can now actually say that this is an exact ODE. And now the next step is to simply solve it as if it were an exact ODE. Now, when we do this, we're going to take the integral of m as usual. Let's just split the fraction up to make it easier for us. And we're going to get, um, we're going to move the y to the outside because it's a constant with respect to x. And then we're going to have the integral of x to the negative second, which is negative 1 over x. And then the integral of x to the negative 1, which is ln x. And then we're going to have plus h of y. Remember, our constant is equal 
um, is equal to y in this case. So we have a function of y as our constant because we're taking the integral with respect to x. And obviously we have to multiply in the y in general. So we now take the partial of our result. We get negative 1 over x plus h prime of y. And we remember that h prime of y equals y over x squared in this case. So we now get this result. And we can't explicitly solve for h of y uh, because it, it doesn't use elementary methods. It's very difficult to solve. But if you can solve for it, let me know in the comments. So here we have a Clairaut ODE. So this Clairaut ODE is a little bit different than all the other ODEs because it's a little bit simpler. But the concept is, is that we separate this ODE into two separate solutions equal to zero. So we obviously have here x plus 2p and dp dx equal to zero in this case after we substitute p equals dy dx. So we have one case, we have the first case, which is the boring case that we don't care about is that dp over dx equals zero. That's the case that we don't really need to worry about because that's not the interesting case. And that would just be the general solution to the function. So we want to find where x plus 2p is equal to zero. And so if we solve for p, we get x e or p equals negative x over 2. And now let's simply solve, let's simply put p in for p in our function of y. And we get x times negative x over 2 plus negative x over 2 squared. So we get negative x squared to the fourth. So that would be the answer to this ODE. Anyways, I hope you all like this video and I will see you all later. Goodbye.